What's going on, guys? Thanks, as always, for tuning in to P-Dub's Arcade Loft, where we always appreciate it. Would you hang out upstairs with us? Some exciting and interesting news came out today. Our fellow comrade-at-arms, Toycade, who we strongly consider our Snoop of YouTube. This guy finds it all. He digs deep. He finds all the dirt. He finds it before anyone else. And usually, I would say about eight out of ten times, his predictions, leaks, or reveals end up being correct. But the question is, is is he right on the money about this one? He released a video. He's in Australia. Dude's sleeping right now. It's 4 o'clock in the morning in Australia. He's going to wake up and see that his video is going viral. Kudos to you, Toy Cade. And of course, Toy Cade releases his video. The Arcade 1-Up groups are popping. Unqualified Critics is losing his mind because he doesn't know where the leaks are coming from. John D is hiding in Dr. Dre's basement like Tupac. And everyone wants to know, is the Big Blue real? I'm going to tell you what I think right after this. All right, wanted to jam out there for you guys. So it's no secret out there in the world that last week I received random email from an unnamed source saying, hey, here's a bunch of snippets, a bunch of pictures of potential Arcade 1-Up cabinets that they're releasing to distributors. Looked to be like they were pictures of what you might call like something that they would send like a catalog to distributors like, hey, are you guys interested in distributing these products for us? This is what we got coming out. And of course, I took a look at them, and the only one that I felt like we knew for sure was probably going to happen was The Simpsons, right? I made that video, and then I pulled the video because I was like, well, wait a minute. This is kind of a, a, a mean move, whatever. Um, and then um, and then also, too, didn't know if it was 100% accurate. I mean, I'm reporting on random information sent to me, right? Random information. So, But in my opinion, the information looked pretty, pretty solid. Now, was this big blue part of that information i'm going to let you guys know here in just a couple of minutes but then again toy Cade, he finds what he said in his video he says hey man you know what um i got it's on a public website it's right here and here it is and i'm making a video about it right and of course i love kit kit and i have worked together in the past kit and i manage a couple of facebook groups together uh kit's kit's an okay guy and i just i just don't know how he finds this stuff so funny story turns out um he puts out his video, everyone starts losing their minds, right? And I found it really, really hilarious, right? And I was reading the comments on his video, as well as the video that Unqualified Critics said today. And he goes, and and I hate to kick off with this because in all honesty, I think this is a pretty cool looking cabinet, in my opinion. But the funniest thing in the world, we're going to kick off with just a joke because we're just having fun. We're living in the E3 hype. <laughs> the funniest thing to me was someone had commented on one of the videos and said, <laughs> it looks like an ice scraper <laughs> for scraping your windshields. And that cracked me up a little bit. That made me laugh because, you know, I remember when At Games announced their pinball machine and some guy said it looks like a shopping cart and that trended for a while. So here's your big blue arcade one up ice scraper, guys. Uh, that's your big blue arcade one up ice scraper. So I find it hilarious. Now, in all, in, in, all, in my opinion, though, this image looks pretty decent. Arcade 1UP does need to make these cabinets a little bit taller. The legacy cabinets were definitely shorter. Um, but how they're doing it is very interesting. And, and I'm going to show you a couple of pictures that Toy Cade pulled. And I have Toy Cade's video link uh, to his channel in the video description. Make sure you guys watch his video. He did a really, really well produced video analyzing this, talking about this. Make sure you guys uh, check that out. Um, and also subscribe to his channel as well. He puts in good work. But guys, let me know what you think about this kick plate. Toy Cade mentioned in his video he thought that this kick plate would light up. Light it up, 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 light it up, up, up. That would be interesting if it does light up. Obviously, it's really hard to make these three-quarter scale car cabinets look exactly like what the original arcades looked like. So Arcade 1UP has always had to do some kind of variation. But as long as they get the general feel down, I think a lot of folks end up being happy boo 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 <laughs> hiding like tupac yo you like that joke yeah we're just having fun we're just having fun i'm sure john d is going to be all over all over the internet so toy cage shared this right he shares this right he goes this is online he blurted out 
I looked everywhere. I spent about 15 minutes looking at all my no usual sources that I go to when I'm digging for leaks online. I couldn't find this anywhere. So that automatically gave me some skepticism. But guys, always remember when Toy Cade releases a video with a leak, he's usually correct about eight out of every 10 times. So um, very interesting. So guys, I couldn't find his, uh, what do you call it, website link. And uh, I'm going to show you some more pictures here of the cabinet in just one second. I definitely want to get your guys' thoughts on this. Now, when you're looking at the riser, I mean, it's big blue, right? We got to have just a blue cabinet, you know? Nothing fancy, nothing special. In my opinion, I think this looks fantastic. This is the way to do it. And apparently, this also has Wi-Fi and the ability for us to play online. If you guys recall, when I did my Mortal Kombat Legacy review, I said it'd be really cool for them to re-release Street Fighter as well as Mortal Kombat with online play for us to all play against each other. And it definitely appears that that is what might be happening. Let me see if I can get you guys another picture here. So here, here she is. Here's the cabinet. And I'm going to go full screen for you guys so you can kind of get a good shot of this. And guys, let me know what you think. There's some, there's some very interesting things to note about here is when it comes to line of sight issues, which plagued the legacy cabinets, well, at least a couple of them, Mortal Kombat and Capcom, doesn't look like you're going to have any line of sight issues on this. Also, uh, it does appear that we're going to have that giant light-up marquee, a couple of speaker panels right in your face, just like the iArcade cabinets, and then we're not going to have any ledges or anything in the way when it comes to the control deck. And the control deck does appear to be slanted. We have no idea of specs, dimensions, and the question is, is, is this even real? Is this even real? So we're going to get to, I'm going to tell you guys what I know based upon the information that was uh, given to me. Kamala says, so people who bought legacy cabinets got screwed? I don't know, because this thing might only end up having like two or three games on it, right? With the ability to play Wi-Fi. Whereas the legacy cabinets, you do have 12 games, but you're sacrificing Wi-Fi. Dylan says it's real. I like hearing that. I like hearing that because in all honesty, I think this is cool. This is also why I did not pick up a um, Street Fighter uh, or a Capcom Legacy cabinet is because I was waiting for them to have an online one uh, for us to uh, play online. You guys may have noticed on the control deck. Let me see if I can get in here. Here, we're going to zoom in really good on this one. It does appear you have the little yellow live logo and a live button. So that confirms your online play. Earth Monster says he is a fan of the speakers. Bobby says he thinks this is fake. Tony says he would buy it only to mod it. We should all refer to it as the ice scraper. That doesn't mean if it's real, if it's a digital render. Correct. Just like everything else that was sent out. Uh, to retailers and stuff. They sent them renders, not like actual pictures of what the product looks like. I'm only going to show you a couple of more pictures here, and then I'm going to let you know what I know because, um, what was I saying? Um, I want to hop over while I'm working uh, on the IRK live stream. They're going to make some big announcements in about 20 minutes, and I don't want to miss them. Let's see if I got another good picture here for you. Also, guys, again, make sure you watch Toy Kate's video. He did a fantastic job analyzing this thing. Ah, here's here's what I wanted. Here's what I wanted to. This is the one. All right, let's pull this up. Let's go full screen. Oop. So, for instance, in order to make these cabinets taller, it does appear that there are going to be multiple side panels on this thing. Now, I don't understand how this is going to offer more stability, but obviously, maybe there's some additional support or something in here. Those additional, what do you call them? Those K bars connecting these pieces and holding these pieces together. Uh, but guys, let me know what you think. It makes it look like more of a drive-by shooting. However, if you get some blue caps or something and cover these up, it might not look too shabby. I wish Arcade went up uh, provided cheap little screw covers on their cabinets, these exposed screws. It looks like Bonnie and Clyde were playing Street Fighter. Dylan says there's too many details for it to be fake. Michael says the control deck is better, but not the way it should be. So we don't know games. We don't know pricing. We don't know all that uh, good jazz. 
I find this interesting that if this is what they're doing to get these cabinets taller, it makes me think that there's additional boards running side to side here. You know what I mean? To brace this thing. But we'll have to see. But what do you guys think? Do you guys want taller arcade one-ups? Let me know in the live chat. Or were you guys happy with the height it was? Jeff Flanagan says he agrees with me. We need caps. I mean, those caps can't cost that much money, right? Screw caps to cover up all those screw holes. <laughs> so it doesn't look like uh it doesn't look like you're getting shot up. Earth Monster says another step closer to potentially full-size cabs. Vic Vicious says, finally, Street Fighter Live. Yeah. So in all honesty, I am, I'll tell you guys what, I'm I'm very interested in this cabinet. Um, and I would like to get one if it's confirmed to be real at E3 2021. Um, I think this is a good move by Arcade One Up. Nothing's ever going to be perfect in their designs. However, I do like the fact that your the viewing angles look great. It appears the cabinet will be taller, yet the control deck will be slanted, keeping things at more of an arcade height. And of course, you have the live online play, so we could all play the classic Street Fighter together, throwing Hadoukis at each other like crazy. Hadouken, Hadouken, Hadouken. Now, here's the question. Uh, once Toycade's video came out, people started pinging me because I told people I received information, and I was getting messages all morning. So thanks for that, Kit. I've been getting messages from my viewers all morning, pinging me saying, P-Dubs, is this real? Was this one of the things that you saw? Here's what I can tell you guys is, on the information that was provided to me, this cabinet was not on there. So that would make, make you think, well, maybe it's fake. Maybe it's fake. Maybe it's fake. The only thing I can tell you that maybe kind of lends confirmation to this, and again, you're going to have to take this with a grain of salt, is I was talking with another person who actually works in a capacity with Arcade One Up several months back, uh, back during early, early, like late winter. Yeah, so we're talking like March or so. I was talking with somebody who actually works in a capacity with Arcade One Up, and he told me that Arcade One Up was working on a Street Fighter Big Blue cabinet, but I just kind of went like this, you know, shoved it to the side of my mind, never thought about it, and of course, not going to talk about it because you're hearing it from a friend of a friend, right? But considering his relationship to them, as well as considering this information that's come out today, in my opinion, I think it's real. And if I'm wrong, oh well, at least it was fun to talk about for a few minutes. And Arcade One Up at least got to hear everyone's feedback on whether or not we actually want this cabinet in our homes. But that's what I pretty much have for you guys today, is this was not part of that information that was revealed to me. But it was talked about in third-party conversations in the past, and it makes me think that this is actually going to happen. And also, when I look at Toy Cage's track record, he's usually right 80% of the time. I'm rolling the dice. I'm playing the numbers on this one. Toy Cage, thanks for the reveal. I look very much forward to kicking everyone's butt in Street Fighter 2 this holiday season. Do me a favor, guys, if you enjoyed the quick news break, give me a thumbs up on the way out. As always, I thank you for subscribing and hanging out upstairs with us. And oh, by the way, if you're interested in the iArcade, you might want to head over to their live stream starting in 15 minutes. There's going to be some big announcements going on over there. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you later.